We now refine the roof by drawing a line across it to split it into two faces. Hold down the Alt key to constrain the line to be parallel to the adjacent edge. We use the photo as a cue to extrude the narrow face to its proper height. Notice that we have extruded to the light color detail above the bricks. This process can be further refined by drawing more lines on the narrow face to split it into additional facets. When you use the line tools, remember to hold down the Alt key to maintain the orthogonality of the model and prevent tilted lines. By using the Taper to Offset tool, select the middle face. This now automatically brings you to the current camera view so that you can use the photo's visual cue to help you adjust the height of the selected face. When you release the mouse button, a new untextured face has been created. Click the Go to My View icon to go back to your preferred viewpoint. Apply texture mapping to that new face and remove extraneous edges by selecting and removing them. Using the Move tool, further refinement can be done by moving the edges based on the visual cues of the photo. We now further extend the facade using an extrusion operation to conform to the photo. Now, we draw an arc on one side of the facade and extrude it to the other side to create the detail on the top of the building. We then refresh the texture mapping to paint the new detail. Click on the standard SketchUp line tool to draw two lines across the top of the roof to help refine that structure. Notice that the SketchUp inference engine helps us draw the lines appropriately in the model. In particular, the nearby facade edges guide the location of these lines. The face delimited by these lines will then be raised using the taper tool to form a sloped roof. We now drill a hole through the arched window of the facade by drawing an arc and a polyline upon the front face. Using a push-pull extrusion operation, we are able to subtract this volume away to more closely model the actual building. Finally, we apply standard texture mapping to the model. Click on the point cloud layer icon to turn on the 3D point cloud. Then snap the floor to a point on the rear tower structure of the building. Now select the 2D rectangle tool to draw the footprint of the rear tower.
The footprint is then extruded down to the ground. Now we add a ledge to the tower by holding down the control key while we perform an extrusion operation. This serves to add a layer to the geometry. We update the texture for the new geometry to more clearly see the boundaries. That layer is then scaled to create the ledge. Our taper to a point tool then permits us to build the roof of that tower. We again add the texture to the new geometry. In the standard texture mapping mode, the texture of occluding faces project all the way through. This sometimes leaves undesirable artifacts upon the occluded faces. We can, however, fix this with one click of our advanced texture mapping that automatically detects the occluded regions and paints them with a uniform gray color. Notice the difference as we toggle between the standard and advanced texture mapping modes.